Soul-crushing pain can come from some of the most unlikely of sources, like stepping on one of these little two-gram blocks of plastic. But how can something so innocent looking cause such an extreme and mind-bending kind of pain? The feeling of pain is all about survival. It's our body's way of letting our brains know that danger is afoot, and in this circumstance, literally. Physical pain is a chemical process, and when talking pain, you're gonna be talking nociception. Nociceptors are a special sensory cell in the body that are our first line of defense in keeping us out of harm's way. Surprisingly, the root of the word nocere means to hurt in Latin. Now in your skin, you have these two different types of pain sensing nerve fibers, A delta and C fibers with these specific tasks. In the case of Lego stomping, A-delta cells do most of the talking, and when triggered, your nociceptors then send electrical signals to the brain, basically saying, ow. These signals are propagated from the side of your pain to your brain with the help of chemicals called neurotransmitters. These two neurotransmitters play the largest role in pain, but there are many more being studied and researched. Quick fun fact, before the painful message travels all the way from your foot to the brain along the path of the A-delta fibers, your nociceptors instigate what's called the withdrawal reflex. Basically, the message gets sent to the spinal cord first, which then informs your motor neurons in the affected area to get the heck out of there. So in other words, you actually move your foot away from the Lego before your brain has a chance to comprehend the immeasurable pain you're about to endure. All right, well, enough about pain. How about something about these little guys? They're made out of ABS plastic, which is a rather clever tear polymer. Tear is Latin for thrice, which is pretty logical, and here's why. This is an ABS plastic polymer chain. Inside of it, there's three monomers, each with their own unique purposes. Acrylonitrile is there to give the plastic strength, 1,3-butadiene is there to give the plastic resistance from snapping, and styrene's in the house to give it that nice, shiny, hard surface. With all three powers combined, these bricks don't give way under pressure, and especially from the bottom of your soft little sensitive foot. So, when you step on one of these dangerous little bricks, the force of your weight concentrates itself into the point of contact. And if you're unlucky like me, that's usually right about here. But to simplify things for this example, let's just say that you stepped on the full top surface. Now, the bottom of your foot can have up to 200,000 individual sensory receptors, which is exceptionally dense given the small surface area they occupy. Then, for an average person of 165 pounds, there's around 3 million pascals of pressure being concentrated onto the top surface of the brick. And thanks to the custom chemical tailoring of ABS plastics, that little brick doesn't give it all under the pressure of your weight, cramming it way up into your foot, which gives your A-delta fibers a whole lot to talk about. So be careful out there, folks. For all you LEGO lovers out there, we want to see your favorite chemical compounds built out of bricks. Build them up, take a picture, post them down in the comments. And while you're at it, if you have a chemistry-related question, post that down in the comments as well and we'll try to get back to you. If you want to learn about what happens to your body when you're about to die, check out this video. Or if you want to learn about spicy foods, another kind of pain, check out this one. Thanks for watching, folks. Hit subscribe. Thumbs up on the way out.